Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this series of videos of Acumatica 2023 R2, Acumatica has introduced the ability to process and manage your allocations, your stock allocations. So before we get to that, let's talk a little bit about allocations and what they're useful for. So right now we have a sales order for this portable tennis ball machine. The order is requesting 10 of them. We have, if we look at the bottom of the screen, six on hand. Six are available, six are available for shipping, and zero are allocated. So typically what happens is you go into sales orders and you go to process orders and you create all your shipments. And Acumatic essentially says, okay, first come, first serve. There's an order, you can actually do dates and things like that. But essentially it goes through and it grabs the stock and tries to create shipments so that you can get it out to the warehouse and get the products out the door to your customers. But with allocation, if we click on line details after highlighting this line and we check allocated, Acumatica will lock down that stock for that particular order. So, and notice what it did, it split the line. We asked for 10. We can only allocate what we have in stock, which is six. So essentially it broke it into two separate lines. If we click OK here, you notice also at the bottom of the screen, on hand six, available six, available for shipping six, because it's ours, we allocated it, and allocated six. Now, if we were to copy this and create a brand new sales order, notice what we see here, we have the same, we copied it, so we have the same quantity, it's 10. And if we look at the bottom of the screen, we have on hand six, notice available for shipping is zero. We can't create a shipment. So normally, again, it's first come, first serve. If we didn't use the process order screen and create all our shipments, then somebody could go into this sales order before the other one and create a shipment, but not now because there's zero available for shipping. So if we go back, your ability to do line details and allocate was always there with Acunatic. Having said that, if we uncheck this and we click OK, what's new is Acumatica now has a manage allocation screen. And as we look at the screen, there's an action at the top. And that action allows us to allocate or deallocate. So if we select allocate and we pick wholesale. So again, if we go back, you notice this is that tennis ball machine from the wholesale warehouse. If we click on item availability, just for some clarity here. And we look at our inventory summary. We can see that all six of these are in the wholesale warehouse under R2S1. That's where they're coming from. So you go back to manage sales allocations and we allocate sales orders. You can select based on the line ship on. So this is the order. We can do it based on the order date, which changes things around a little bit. We can do it based on the line requested on. So for clarity, the sales order itself has a requested on and a ship on date. It gives you some flexibility. If we scroll over to the right, you can see there's a requested and a ship on date. You can change those. So the customer may request by a certain date and you may or may not be able to accommodate them and that's your ship on date. So over here, we have the ability to order by either the order date requested on or the line ship on, default is line ship on, or we can go by the cancel by. So in the order, there's also a cancel by date. In other words, the customer says, I need these, but if you can't get them by this date, I want to cancel. So this is also very helpful because you may want to get these before these orders cancel, the customer cancels the order. But notice at the bottom of the screen, we have those two tennis ball machines. This is showing the lines, not the orders necessarily. It's showing the order numbers, but you're seeing all the individual items in their lines. Notice we have these two orders, separate orders, 
for this quantities of 10. And because we've ordered it this way, Acumatica is saying, okay, well, this one, you have six to allocate. This one's gonna be zero. So you can go through and decide which customers get what they need. By default, it's gonna order this in the way we decided under select by. If we went back to our sales order, we'll go back to our second sales order. And let's say we change this requested on date. And we'll go back a couple of days, we'll save it. We'll go back to manage sales allocations and we'll refresh. Select our warehouse. And we'll change this to line requested on. Notice Acumatica put the 7466 order up one. So if we were to process all, or if we were to check these off, this would be the priority. This order would get the allocation instead. So if we check this off just manually now, click process, close it, go back to sales orders. We're in the 7466 order. Notice at the bottom of the screens, on hand six, available minus four, available for shipping six. But if we refresh this, notice it shows the allocation. And if we click on line details, it also did the work for us. It went through and it allocated the stock for us. So this is really helpful because it gives you the ability to control your allocations and what orders go out first using these different select by options and without having to create the shipments. This is showing you everything by line. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please click the like button. If you have any questions about this or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.